This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. Joining us this morning is conservation agent Andrew Feistel to talk about what's new this hunting season. What are you, how are you doing this morning? Oh, pretty good. Great. Yeah. And, and can you start by uh, talking about the, the free fishing and hunting event going on this weekend? I don't want to forget that. Yeah, so in uh, 1972, Congress uh, uh, made a National Hunting and Fishing Day, and so each year we put on an event uh, that where kids and families can come out and this year it happens to be in uh, Knox County where, where I'm an agent and uh, we're doing it at Henry Seaver Lake Conservation Area. And there's gonna be all sorts of activities. The kids can come out and fish and, and uh, of course we have the popular archery. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know I brought a couple furs here. Just one of the popular things is the, the fur trunk and kids can learn about the different types of fur bearing animals we have in Missouri. And uh, there's just going to be all sorts of stations, snakes and turkey exhibits. And, and uh, so it'll be a fun filled day. And, and uh, so, and it, and it's free for, for uh, people to come out and en enjoy. And uh, it's going from one o'clock to five o'clock on Saturday, the 24th. Okay. So, Sounds like a good family um, fun event for everyone to come out to. And it's not just for people who know how to fish and, and, do that sort of activity it's all it's open to everyone right yeah we we really like to get especially the younger uh, kids uh, involved because that's how that's how we continue this uh, our conservation efforts that, and we like to get the the young generation involved and and it and introduce them to some of the the activities that they could be doing and uh, so, but it, it's for families uh, to come out and enjoy too. So. Sure, and, and is this the first year that the conservation uh, club's doing this or is it an annual event? This is an annual event and, and we hold it at different areas, mm. uh, but, uh, but this is uh, since 1972, they've been, uh, been doing this event around the, around the nation really, the different, different groups do their own events so okay anything new this year that visitors might expect yeah so you know national hunting and fishing day is uh, is recognizing the the sportsmen and and their conservation efforts and of course that's why we have hunting seasons now because of the conservation efforts of people and and uh you know i wanted to talk a little bit about the the deer season coming up and and um on the back of the deer pamphlet that we put out here that you, you can get these at any vendor uh, or the conservation office, uh, we have s several things that are new this year. Uh, I get a lot of phone calls asking about different regulations. One of the big things this year is crossbows are allowed during archery season. And it uh, used to be you had to have an exemption, but, but now you can use your crossbow uh, to hunt during archery season. Uh, another big uh, deal is during the opening weekend of firearms season, firearms deer season, mm -hmm. uh, if you harvest a deer, you need to bring it to one of our sampling stations to be tested for the chronic wasting disease. And so everyone that kills it, uh, that, that harvests a deer during that time needs to bring it in. Okay. And, uh, and of course, in the, in the deer pamphlet here uh, is all the sampling locations in the northeast region, you know, it, it lists them across the, all the 29 CWD counties that are mandatory. Uh, but you can check out that and, and see what one's closest to you and you can, and you're, you have to present your deer the day of harvest. Okay, and, and people are, might not be familiar with this because this is new this year. Um, and, and you said there is a penalty if they don't get their deer sampled? Well, there could be, but uh, you know, we're just asking for everybody's help. Mm -hmm. um, it is mandatory, so if you harvest a deer uh, during that weekend, you, know, you need to bring it into one of our locations to have the sample taken. Okay, um, and then also, I thought I had see, uh, saw somewhere that there is a new mobile app for hunters to utilize. Right, and this has been around for a couple years now, uh, but the, the mobile hunting, uh, the Mo Hunting is what it's called. Uh, you can search it, uh, they have it for Android and uh, iPhone um, and on that app you can actually have your permits on, on there and uh, so it used to be you had to carry around your your deer tag or your turkey tag now it, it does work to have it on the phone there and 
if a conservation agent approaches you, you know, that's perfectly fine. People ask me that all the time. They, they pull it up. I hope this is okay. And yes, it is. It's, okay. That's perfectly fine to have it on there and, and we can get the information we need from you from that app. And uh, you can also, when, uh, you, when you harvest a deer or turkey, you can notch your permit, uh, which is a, a requirement. Uh, you used to have to notch your paper permit, but you can notch it right there on the phone. There's a, a tab for that. And then you can telecheck your, your deer or turkey. Oh. and get your confirmation right there on your phone. Wow, hunting made easy for everyone now. Right, huh? right. <laughs> um, so how is the hunting season going so far? I know that it started in uh, this month, earlier this month, for bow hunters. And are, do they seem to be pretty active in this weather? Well, it's a little warm yet. Uh, you know, the cooler weather gets people more in the mood for the hunting. But, uh, uh, you know, it. it uh, I have seen several hunters out, and there's there's been some deer harvested, but uh, I expect it to pick up a little bit once it cools down. And, and maybe you can clear this up for me because I'm still learning. Um, when you say harvested, is this part of the, the managed hunt or, or just in general when, when people take the deer as, as the sport? Yeah, we, I refer to it as harvesting. Uh, that in order to uh, keep the deer population uh, at the numbers that, that we, we would like to see, and to keep it population healthy, mm -hmm. uh, of course, you know, part of that is, is taking deer mm -hmm. and uh, hunters harvesting deer and, and uh, using that for, to feed their families. So uh, that's all part of the process there, so. Yeah, and I know uh, driving into the station today, I saw like five of them, so they seem to be pretty active this morning. Right. Um, right. But it is when the cooler temperatures come in, that's when they'll, they'll start to show up a little more. Yeah, and okay. as, uh, as the corn's harvested and, uh, mm -hmm. and the beans are, are harvested, you'll start seeing them a little more because there's less places for them to hide down in all that. So. Okay. Well, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Anything else new this year that we didn't already touch on so far? Um, with, with, we had mentioned the mobile app, and I thought that there were a few more things. As, as, we, uh, as you go through the telechecking oh. uh, system, uh, you, whether you do it on your phone or you call it in or you do it online, you can, you can do all that, uh, you know, either, either of those ways. Um, there are some new questions as well. They're asking for a snout measurement on does and they're asking for a, a antler measurement, a different antler measurement on bucks this year. And so, uh, you know, just follow the prompts and, and uh, answer those questions and that's going to help the department determine a, the age of the harvested deer. So. Okay. And then up next, is there anything else uh, with, with the uh, outline, timeline of events that's coming up for um, the, the season as far as I know that in November is, is the, the gun season and any, right. what's after that? Well, uh, we have a few seasons coming up uh, pretty soon. Of course, right now we're in archery season has already started, uh, but October 1st, uh, rabbit season starts oh, that's, and I knew I was missing uh, the, the fall turkey season firearm season starts and uh, and then uh, early uh, goose season starts oh okay uh, so for those waterfowl hunters that want to goose hunt and then uh, at the end of uh, no uh, of October the 29th is when the the uh, regular waterfowl season starts. Okay, lots of good things to look right. forward to. Well, all of this information is going to be posted on our website at ktvo.com. We'll be right back.